Hello, I am Red Herring, and it's time for some StarCraft 2 played in the first person perspective. So here we go. Um, that was fairly fast load. Looks like I'm going to be fighting a PGBZ. Um, no valves. So I'm not oh, jeez. Horrible split. Horrible split. Yeah, uh, so the way I usually split um, is I take all six workers and I send them the one mineral patch then as they travel to that mineral patch I click my nexus and make a worker and then as, as, as the workers are still transferring to this one mineral patch I click three of them and send them to the mineral patch on the other side and as you saw there they all went uh, to one patch and then I misclicked and then they all went to the other patch so that is the one thing you do not want to do um, yeah that's how I split there are a bunch of ways to split uh, that are basically up to preference. I mean, there are definitely, definitely some um, better ways to split than others, but in general, uh, the, the way I have it, the way I do it, is pretty good. Um, a lot of players will build the worker and then split, and some players will uh, split and then build the worker. But I kind of have a hybrid of those two. That is just my preference. But to the game at hand, well, I guess I was a game at hand, but um, I, I did notice I was fighting a Zerg player. My my <laughs> insanely good StarCraft 2 skills were able to look at the loading screen and decipher that my opponent is Zerg. So I'm going to be Forge Fast Expanded here. And um, you can easily tell that because my pylon is at the ramp. So hopefully he's not 6 pulling and looks like uh, he was not at the bottom position and he's not up here either. So he's the one place I did not scout. Which sucks. I always hate it when you know, I send it out at 9 and it's not even worth it because the guy who sends his worker out at 12 or 14 scouts me at the same time just because I scouted him last, but that's the way it goes. So um, we will see shortly what's up. It looks like there was no fast hatch, so... Oh, and there's a drone. I'm not sure if this guy's going to go build patch. Doesn't look like it. And this also tells me that he is not going to go any crazy, uh, like... 10 pool or anything because he is scouting here. And oh, those are well that was about it. That was maybe an 11 pool there. So uh, I did get the first hit off on that drone. So hopefully it will die. And block the hatch. Nope, it was not able to block it. Wow, did he actually I got the first hit and his drone killed me. That is absolutely not supposed to happen. Wait, how did... How did that happen? <laughs> I'm really confused. And there we go, put up the Nexus, but unfortunately the Zerg can hit it, so that's pretty good. So I gotta cancel that, and that just makes it worse, so... I'm gonna stick up the gateway. Actually kills me there. And... I'm gonna go ahead and grab one gas. Uh, just to let you guys know, this is not the way you want to deal with an 11 pool. Uh, definitely not, so in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> uh, what I should have done, kept that probe alive, for one, the one that is scouting, and uh... There we go. Just going to see if I can bait these Zerglings in, but no, he does have, have them uh, set on hold position, so... They'll not be baited away. And just mineral walk through. Stay alive. Yeah, come on, come at me. So, still alive, gonna grab gas here. Um, maybe wondering why am I not uh, building a dollar? Well, that is a good, that's a uh, good idea. So, I'm just gonna grab that. And. Now, when a player goes for this 11 pool, because I'm, I'm actually thinking it was an 11 pool, a player goes for that, uh, you can, you have a couple options. Um, I think I'm going to go double Stargate here, which is the build i kind of been working on a little bit. Double Stargate into the Mothership Fast Third, cover the third with the Mothership type of dealio, and uh, really like it. It's a little bit gimmicky, but this guy, this guy cannot hide. I have cans in you in the, in the front there, so you cannot go anywhere. Yeah, try and run. Run and be sliced by my zealot's arms. Speaking of zealot's arms, you guys you guys know how the zealot 
never puts away its weapons. It's always like, I think it, I think the, well the blades are like melded on, I mean you could say that for any, any uh, unit really, but the blades are like melded on its arms, I think. I think that's how it works, or, or it's like above its arms, actually no, 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 no. I'm totally wrong. I'm totally wrong, because Zeratul is, uh, his arms are not blades. He gets to unsheath his blade type of thing. My bad, guys. Um, so, double stargate, you do need a lot of gas, so I'm going for, uh, oh wow, I did not need to transfer you that early. Um, I'm going for four gas pretty much immediately. And I'm going to actually get um, shields before I get plus one weapons. And I'm just going to send a, a uh, zealot out just to scout. Wonder what's up. He hasn't sent an overlord in, so I don't know. Oh, that's a lot of links. That's a lot of links. That's actually an uncomfortable amount of links. That is a really uncomfortable amount of It's like enough lanes where I'm actually scared for my safety. Like, I'm scared for pain lanes. That's the amount of lanes. That is an uncomfortable amount. Now, I do have... I'm getting another cannon, keep in mind, so... Because I don't want to die. And, uh... That was actually so many lings, I don't actually agree with that. That scared me, but if he's not going to baneling bust me or anything, which I have a feeling he's going to go baneling bust me, because I really don't see what else he'd be doing. Dawdling around with those, so... These Stargates should take him completely by surprise, because... Honestly, you cannot get Stargate, or you cannot get Hydras or tech of really any sort, unless uh, you have a good economy, and you can't have a good economy if you have that many links to this early in the game, so just heading out with my, my little fleet here. Keep cranking them uh, Stargate units. There's the lair just now coming up. Guess what? Your queen is gonna die. And I'm just gonna go around down here. Grab the uh, expo. Kill that crawler. Kill that crawler as well. And that would die just as soon as that happens. Don't want him to kill my queen, so I'm just gonna lift that up. And double Evo Chamber. Interesting. Oh, jeez. Got one. So notice I'm not going for the lair. I don't know when this luck is going to end. I mean, I know he has Hydra's probably on the way right now. And uh, just going to grab a Fleet Beacon. Lots of gateways. And Twilight Council. Kind of a weird transition out of this, but that's how you transition. Um, well, a couple ways to transition here, so... That is actually a lot. I'm going to get out of there. In fact, there's so many that, in fact, it is natural, it's completely out <laughs> That's funny. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna say, <coughs> save my name. But, uh, his name is gonna die. Or his natural is gonna die. His name is safe, that's fine. Natural is screwed. Oh my gosh. That was my bad. So this is what you want to do against this build. You want to just be running around doing stuff because looks like I was able to escape. I'm gonna go hunt for his third. I'm gonna grab charge because charge is advantageous against hydras. And I'm gonna grab. Okay, he has hydras now, so... Which is 
fine. Just gonna try and reduce that. Oh my gosh, did I attack you? This game is not going well. My sockets are so freaking fat. Freaking. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. This is actually really bad. Okay, you freaking. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, I did kill one of his bases, so not everything is in vain here. It's just mostly in vain. Because I suck. Freaking out to send a whole nother probe over there. Make the Nexus all over again. Just gonna double expand because I freaking suck and I need income. And uh, let's see how this goes here. Oh, jeez. It's not there. As soon as I get my mothership, I'll be, I'll be really happy. <laughs> I have like no gas income right now. I do have charge, I know. And yes, mothership. Now let's go. I'm just gonna transfer these guys away. Crank up the cannons here because I cannot afford to lose that expo ever. And, uh, got my shield upgrades. No wonder you saw that. You have a freaking overlord sitting there. Dang, I suck. Oh. Trying to come in here? I will sandwich you with power. Guess what? I'm cloaked. Ah! Oh my gosh! No! How'd that even happen? How'd that happen? Run! I made it. Run! I made it. Own it. Just I just upgraded it or not? So now I've lost that expo. But that's okay because I totally forgot I have this expo. And now I'm just gonna go run over there. And that. There's a lot of hydrants. Thankfully, I'm actually own it right now. Yeah, get, get, get. Oh yeah. That's pretty boss, I must say. Upgrades. No wonder my army is failing miserably. I have no upgrades right now.
Jeez, go. We stand as one. We are ready. This guy is super persistent about denying expos. Kill that overlord. I did kill one of my carriers, I think. That's fine though. Reinforcing side. Sideways. Okay, so now he knows about this space. So. Dang it, but. Grab some sentries. So I just realized I have butt tons of gas. Kind of just upgrades, because upgrades are good. And you know what? I think it's time to push out a little mass recall fun. So let's go. Mass recall fun is where I keep the mothership back and just send these guys out to attack. And, uh, Nidus just worm? Nidus worm. Alright, Nidus worm. Mr. Nidus, Midas. Gonna run over here. And keep him from... I totally did not hear the nice one. No way for that. Day. Okay, I didn't see you all. You know, not mad. I didn't see it, but just annoyed. What? How do I suck at noticing nice ones? Really? Two, two. Actually, we're gonna have to all stick together because I've lost way more than I should have in those engagements. So unfortunately he was able to take my mothership there. I just realized I haven't really been talking that much this game. I'm sorry, I'm just super, super... Uh... Worried about this. Things are really not looking too good for me right now, I gotta say. 
I do have a bunch of bases, so that's helpful. They're not super helpful. So I'm afraid. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna scout the map. I just realized I have I really don't have map control right now. At all. No map control is not good. You are fighting a Zerg player, so hopefully I'll be able to get some of that back. I build a bunch of gateways, and I guarantee you there's a nice one that's going to be coming up. There. Anyway. Guess what, though? You're going to be trapped. Trapped. Your terminal summon. Well, I will just rebuild the Nexus. Oh, that was a diversionary attack. That was definitely a And I lost my server next for I'm actually maxed. I'm actually maxed. Where's this stuff? I don't know about the shit. So because I'm maxed and because I am... Whoa, I have... This guy's been really good about putting on pressure in a whole bunch of different areas. I will give him that. I will give him that for sure. But I think you must now realize he is new. Maybe. Maybe. Hey guys, I know I have to work on clicking my warp or not clicking my warp gate icon. So I think I got to do for show. Oh, boss. Wow, I just went down a lot of supply. A lot of supply. If I had Storm still, I would freaking have Storm. There's so much happening. Let's see if pull a sick comeback. And he calls me a effing noob and a piece of crap. So, that was an interesting game. A very interesting game indeed. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think if he had. Oh, he was slightly favored. If he had gone Corruptors a lot earlier, he would have won. Because I was riding on the coattails of my carriers, of my Air Force, the whole time. And really wasn't, uh, I mean, he was great at putting on pressure, but really wasn't super good. He was top eight in this season, but, um, and he had good macro, and I, I really didn't put on much pressure. So I would say he put on a lot of pressure, but I was able to hold on, and I know I didn't play, like, super good. I don't think he played super good either. Oh, he has a lot of achievement points, but, wow, look at all these achievement points, but, um, yeah, uh, he did. He did have great macro. He kept on replenishing his, his army fairly, fairly well. Uh, but he was not ultimately able to kill me. And I think if he had just maxed corruptors and then maxed roaches, like I like the last uh, the last game uh, where I did this build, 
Uh, you know, max corruptors kill my air force, max roaches and hydras. I, I've yet to see or fo face an opponent who does that successfully. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll have more videos out soon. Thanks, guys.